Hi, this is Samrit Srinivas. I'm now going to show you how to run the simulation of kinematic analysis of a spherical wrist. So, so this is the zip file that that will that is that is available to download. And what you need to do is you need to unzip this. Let's extract it here. And we got this decompress folder. So now what we will do is we will open MATLAB. All right, now we have opened MATLAB. I'm, as you can see, I'm already in the Simscape folder. However, if if uh, you haven't done it, you just need to open this and just go to the Simscape folder which we decompressed just now and select the folder. And you should see all these files on your in your current folder panel. Now, wh uh, what you need to do is for the forward kinematic program, you need to type FK and press enter. The FK GUI will open like this. And here you can see that you can set the joint angle 1, joint angle 2, joint angle 3 of the spherical wrist. Say for example, we put 10 degrees, 20 degrees and 30 degrees and then we can click on create matrix so this is the transformation matrix and here we can uh, input the rotation order that we want the orientation to be expressed in so let's say compute and it computes the x y and z z in degrees so now so what this does is this uh, explains that for when the joint angle 1 is rotated by 10 degrees when joint angle 2 is rotated by 20 degrees and 3 by 30 degrees we can express that as a rotation about x by 10 degrees by rotation of and then by rotation of or the current y axis by 17 degrees and the and then by a rotation of um, 41 degrees about the newer z axis and then we can click on we can set the joint velocities this is in uh, degrees per second of joints and then we can click on simulate now if it is the first time that you have you're clicking the simulate button after opening MATLAB then it's going to take a while for the simulink um, file to open up and the simulation to start um, but this is normal for the second time and uh, the rest of the times it is going to be faster Now you can see that the Simulink has opened up. Now the simulation will start shortly, automatically. As you can see, it is compiling as of now. So the simulation has started. And this is the orientation in which the robot and effector is when joint angle 1 is rotated by 10 degrees when joint angle 2 is rotated by uh, 20 and joint angle 3 is rotated by 30 degrees now if you want to simulate now you can close this if you want to simulate the inverse kinematics program I'll just close this so if you want to simulate the inverse kinematics program you just have to type in ik in the command window and the inverse kinematics gui pops up so here you specify the rotation order that is that you want to specify and say for example x z y and we input the angles and degrees 
say 25, 30 and 60 degrees. And now we compute the joint angles. So these are the joint angles which correspond to the rotation order x, z, y and uh, to these x ends. Now we will click on simulate. As you can see it is much faster now. So this is the orientation in which the end effector is if if we want the orientation to be um, let's see if the orientation is 25 degrees about x or uh, 30 degrees about y and 60 degrees about z in the order of x z y now if you want to see if the joint angles have actually reached their target angles uh, that is uh, minus 15 degrees, 52 degrees and 71 degrees all you need to do is go to the Simulink block diagram and double click on scope 4 and here you can see we can compare that uh, so in this in this uh, scope diagram the red color line corresponds to sensor 1 that is joint angle 1 the trajectory of it and sensor uh, 2 is marked in blue and sensor 3 is marked in uh, yellow so these correspond to the trajectories of the three joint angles here you can see that joint angle 1 is supposed to be minus 15 degrees and we can see here that it does in fact go to minus 15 degrees joint angle 2 is 53 and you can see that the joint angle 2 is at 53 and joint angle 3 is at 71 and that and here it, and it is reflected in the scope as well so that is how you run the simulation of forward and inverse kinematics for the kinematic analysis of a spherical wrist thank you for watching